Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today I'm going to show you how to export ligand molecules from a protein structure. If you're aware of this series, I have already made a introductory video on pymol where I have shown how to use basic settings in pymol uh, what is upper control panel, what is object menu panel, and what are different different mouse settings that are going to help you while you are analyzing your protein structure. So if you are new to the channel, please uh, subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, please press the like button. Alright, so without delay, let's start uh, exporting the ligand molecule from a protein structure. To export a ligand molecule from a protein structure, we need a protein structure. And for that, we need to use a command called fetch command. So we are going to go to the command line and we're going to type F E T C H space. Now uh, you need to type the four letter code of your protein. In our case, it is 2 uv0 so i'm going to type f e t c h space 2 uv0 i'm going to press enter now you can see the protein structure is visible in the pymol display window and this is a protein uh, called las r this is a protein of pseudomonas aeruginosa uh, quorum sensing system and plays a very important role in biofilm formation. So next step to export the ligands, we need to see where the ligands are. So uh, first, I would like you to understand the structure of protein. It is helpful uh, to export the ligand if you know what is the uh, structural features of your protein. In, in my case, it's a tetrameric protein and I know that all four, uh, four uh, domains, they are similar and uh, they, all, they all contains one ligand molecule. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to remove these uh, red dots. These red dots are the water molecules. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the object menu panel, which is uh, present on the right side. I'm going to go to uh, the A action command and then remove water so immediately you'll see that those red dots they are no longer available now the next step is i'm going to select the chains for that i'm going to go to uh, the mouse mode here and you can see there is a tab called selecting i'm going to click on that one and uh, you can see now uh, there is a change in this particular tab now I can see chain if you can uh, keep pressing this particular option you will see uh, objects you will see molecules you will see C alpha you will see atoms you will see residues so I need chains because I want to select specific chains in this case so I will uh, make sure that it is showing me uh, uh, the option of chains then I'm going to select uh, three chains because I know that the uh, these four chains are identical and then I'm gonna go again to my selection tab and uh, press on A and remove atoms now I have only uh, removed the chains so the ligand is still there so I also need to uh, remove these extra ligands for that I'm gonna go again to the mouse control panel and I'm gonna select residues because now I'm selecting ligands so uh, I need to change it to residues after that I'm gonna click on these ligand molecules and again I'm gonna go to the selection SELE -E, to the action panel and I'm gonna remove the atoms so now you can see I have removed three ligand molecules as well as three protein molecules so that it appears on the center of your display window you can right click 
and you can see various commands uh, they will pop up and I will use zoom with command that will immediately brings the protein molecule uh, to the center of the display window all right uh, so the next step what I'm gonna do is again I'm gonna select the chain and remove the chain because as I have mentioned that uh, the objective is to save the one ligand molecule in this case so after selecting the chain I'm again gonna go to the object menu panel to the selection tab and again to the action and then remove atom now you can see only uh, the ligand molecule is visible so everything is deleted you can also again zoom with and see uh, the ligand molecule closely and the next step is to save this particular molecule so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go to file then I'm gonna go to export molecule this particular option will give me a pop-up window uh, which is save molecule window and I'm gonna go uh, to save directly after pressing this 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 is going to give me uh, a particular folder where I'm going to save it uh, in uh, in this particular folder which is uh, documents in my case you need to change the file type so select the second option which is PDB and uh, it's not a PDB CIF to select the PDB one and then name the ligand molecule in this case I'm gonna name this molecule as ligand and then press enter now your molecule has been saved how you can access that molecule you can go to the uh, particular the same folder that where you have saved the molecule in my case this is documents so I can see I have a ligand PDB file if I double click on that one a new a window pymol window will appear and I can see ligand molecule so now you have a PDB file of the ligand molecule and this file you can use for various different things you can use this for uh, uh, molecular docking you can use this for structural analysis and uh, uh, which is pretty convenient if uh, you don't have the PDB structure of the ligand so this was the uh, the shortcut way you can export uh, ligand molecules from uh, a pi mole uh, or a PDB uh, protein structure so I hope uh, you like the video and um, it uh, it was helpful for you to uh, export your ligand molecule and if you like the video please press the like button and if you're new to the channel please uh, do subscribe to the channel Thank you and take care.